Why? Throughout centuries, the British Empire has ruled over many countries, and in many cases, the British forced their the people who they ruled over to speak English. As a result of that, English has become a global, global language, and which is why it is a necessary skill everybody should have. So, on to the next one. Uh, I'm going to give you four reasons why you guys should learn English. And the first one is, English opens up new career opportunities. First and foremost, learning English can help you pursue and obtain more career opportunities. These days, the job market is global. Many companies need employees who are going to communicate with partners and clients all over the world. Very often, that means finding employees who can speak English, such as yourself. And no matter what career path you decide to pursue, learning English is a must-have skill for anybody. And that is my first reason. And the second one is, learning English can get you a scholarship to any of those universities you want. If you're, okay, so I'm going to give you a choice. If you get a choice to either go to an abroad university or to study in Mongolia, which would you choose? If you choose the abroad one, raise your hands. Not that many of you, but still. Uh, if you choose to go to uh, an abroad school and with your own money, do you know how much the college tuition is? The studies have shown that college with the most undergraduate degrees costs $26,290 per year. And that is 70 million in Mongolian tourists. Can you pay that? No, you can't. Because I know that most of you are living in a normal average family. So, your best chance for getting a scholarship is obviously English and giving, it, and giving an out or TOEFL exam. And it will open up so many opportunities for you for, as, because Mongolia is an undeveloped country and has lots of opportunities coming in from the foreign countries. And the next reason is English is the top language of the internet. I know many of you talked about this topic because you all said that everything on the internet is on, in English. Yes, English is a good language. You all know that. And English is, if you learn English, you can watch anything you want on the internet. For example, I watch anime and Korean drama on the internet all the time. And I use English subtitles. And even if you don't use it for fun, companies nowadays have a must, a requirement for people who speak English and who has to write emails in English. So if you have that ability, you have so much more chances to get into the dream job that you want. And the next uh, English, I mean, sorry. The next reason is learning English makes you smarter, literally. Studies have shown that it makes your brain muscles work a lot more to learn a new language. And it impacts the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory and conscious thoughts and more. So can you believe that? Your brain is working while you're having fun. And that is the four reasons. So I'm going to give you tips, and tips to learn English. And the first one is surround yourself with English. It doesn't matter if you're not in an English environment. You have to create that for yourself. You have to do is watch English videos on YouTube or read books. It doesn't matter if you don't understand. It doesn't freaking matter. You just have to surround yourself with it. You read books, you don't understand. It's okay, you'll learn. You uh, watch videos, then if you, even if you don't understand, you can translate. And all that is important is that you try hard yourself. You make things happen. And second one is set yourself a goal which is anything, even if you want to look good for your boyfriend or girlfriend, even if you want to look cool in your classmates, it doesn't matter. Just set a freaking goal. It doesn't matter what it is. And next one is listen to real English. English, even if I say it that way, you have to work on your pronunciation. It's really important. Some people say propose, but it is actually purpose. That is what matters the most. It's not the most, but still, for people to respect you, pronunciation is pretty important. And the next one is, find fun ways to do it. Like if you like singing songs, just sing it to your, all your heart's content. It doesn't matter if you don't understand, you'll get to it. And the most important
important one is find yourself a motivation. Do you know what motivation is? Yes? Exactly. So your motivation can be anything. Sometimes people give up on life, but you have to remember what you what is most important to you. And that is how you get your motivation back. So last, this is how learning English changed my life. I used to live in Australia. My mom worked hard to learn English and get a scholarship. And she worked for two years. I remember being so miserable because my mom was going to English courses. And she was so miserable all the time. And she failed the IELTS exam six times. And she didn't get up. And thanks to that, I went to Australia and I learned a new language. And do you know what happened to me when, what happened to our family when it, it was amazing because before I went to Australia, debt collectors were knocking on my door. I asked my mom if I could buy a toy, she would say, always say no. We didn't have enough money for bread. It was so miserable. But after she, uh, after we came back uh, to Mongolia, there were no debt collectors. We could afford anything we want. And I also started to notice that there were lots of opportunities for a person who speaks English. For example, uh, this summer, I participated in the ABU RoboCon 2019 uh, as a volunteer. And I made so many new friends there. I was a representative volunteer for the Indonesian team. And such a great experience. And also, I worked as a guide this summer, and that was just insane, <laughs> because all the uh, tourists are so different and have so many different cultures. It just amazed me. And I also got to learn a little bit of <laughs> money by that. And then I also got to see mm -hmm. and the open waterfalls, those two pictures right there. That was awesome. And so last but not least, English is the most important thing that you guys can dedicate your life to. So thank you so much for uh, listening to my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you. As you mentioned, that Greece, uh, we have a uh, short, uh, not enough uh, opportunity to study English in Hungary. Yeah? Now, how do you make contribution to your friends to study English? Well, um, I try to help out my friends as much as I can because they always come to me and ask me how I learned English. So I try to teach all the t and tricks and tips I learned from Australia because I used to get I used to get bullied there because um, I couldn't speak English at all. The only word I knew was toilet. Really hard, but when I come back here, I noticed that people were listening to me, people were taking my advice, and it was so great to me. And I helped my friends. I uh, tried, I tried to help them with their translations. I tried to make them the 29 tenses interesting for them, and then I tried to make the structure of the sentences learn. Um, I tried to help them learn them, and that is how I contribute. Okay, thank you.